Well, a whole lot has happened. Uh, it would seem like uh, one month, uh, another break. It all started here in Lagos, even though there were controversies about uh, what transpired in Lagos, whether it was a break, a jail break, or a protest, but something happened in Lagos. And of course, I recall uh, it also happened a certain time in the Oko prison. And uh, now you're getting to see what happened in uh, the Koton Karafe prison in Kogi State. And it was followed by that in uh, Adwekiti in Ekita State, where the governor spoke, and he did say he was going to speak with Abuja. Did he do that? Yes, because on Friday, the controller general of prisons was actually well, asked to leave, and a new one on the saddle. And just uh, 72 hours after the new man resumed, well, the mean jail break. What exactly is happening in our prison service? Well, joining us to look at that this morning is uh, Mr. Okwe Fatini Kungu. He's the public relations officer for the Nigeria Prison Service. Good morning, Mr. Fatini Kungu, and uh, good to have you join us this morning. Uh, tell us what exactly is happening because the nation is really worried uh, about the spate of uh, jailbreaks or attacks coming to our uh, prisons. Good morning, sir. Well, good morning. Good to have you join us, uh, Mr. Fatiniko. Uh, quickly, could you tell us what exactly uh, is happening in our prisons? Because uh, well, we understand that, or we can see uh, that we have uh, had frequent uh, jail attacks or breaks in our prisons. Yes, let me just uh, update you that uh, about the jailbreak of uh, what happened on Saturday. Uh, as of now, we have 154 inmates in our custody. Well, uh, you, you're telling us about the inmates that have been rearrested, or maybe yeah, those yeah. that have actually well, it's, it's submitted as themselves. 154, 48 did not uh, escape. So we recaptured one and three. Hello? We can hear you. We wanted you to tell us. We want to look at the whole meaning of what has been happening in our prisons. What truly happened? Let's start with the MENA issue. What did you find out so far happened? That of the medium security prison, Mina, the, the newly appointed controller general of prison, Dr. Peter Ezewa Ependu, MNI, was there yesterday, and he said the situation was unacceptable and that he was going to get to the root of the problem. And um, as in actual fact, uh, prior yesterday, because uh, to get to the root of the problem, he visited all the service chief in the Niger State. He was in the office of the Commissioner of Police, the director of SSS, the Tatiwa Atlari Brigade, uh, and uh, that has yielded uh, uh, a lot of um, inmates being arrested overnight. Uh, we, around 12.30 a.m. today, uh, those who had commanded the, the, the jailbreak were arrested and um, the CB was uh, with us. Uh, he monitored all the arrests up to this morning. I've done the tour too now that another one has done the arrest, so that week it's 155 images. Yeah, but we, we don't know what the story was uh, concerning the, the Mina jailbreak. Was it that uh, armed gunmen stormed the place? Was it another protest? If it was armed gunmen, did they blow up uh, another part of the world? What exactly transpired in Mina uh, on Saturday? The Mina issue was not an external attack. It was an internal attack. The Consular General has set up a um, panel to investigate the, the matter. 
and then by Wednesday, I'll be able to brief you on the outcome. By but Wednesday, uh, we do recall, I uh, remember that we started this conversation from uh, what happened in Lagos. Lagos happened uh, in October. You did tell us that as soon as uh, the results of investigations come out, you will definitely intimate us as to what exactly uh, transpired in Lagos. We still haven't gotten the report of what exactly transpired in Lagos. There was a Lagos incident, then there was the uh, Cotton Cafe break. Uh, that is happening for the second time. We still haven't gotten much from the prison officials. And there was a kitty. And now you know, we get what we're saying in Mina. Is the, pr is the prison authority uh, uh, worried about the spate of attacks on Nigerian prisons? And what exactly is giving uh, people the temerity to try and either break the jail from inside or from outside? Let me take that. Uh, let me start with the that of the Lagos. That of Lagos was not a jailbreak. That of Lagos was not a jailbreak. We're, we're listening to the explanation, sir. It was a riot, but you, you you still haven't come out with the outcome of your investigations. We still don't know how long they take, what exactly they come up with. You said you're going to be back to intimate us on what exactly transpired in Lagos. But now, since Lagos happened in October, we've had three other jailbreaks. And this is minus the one that, uh, that was said to have happened in, Lo in Yola, which was denied. Yes, those that were involved, you know, we have internal mechanism too. Those who are involved in Lagos issues are in best way. And uh, that of um, a great city. The panel has not submitted their report. Have you, did you listen to what the governor of Ikiti State, uh, Mr. Ayo Fayoshe, said when he visited uh, the, the, the prison in Ikiti after it was broken? Did you hear what he said? Yes, I did. did that, does that concern you in any way? Does that concern the prison authorities in any way? That prison officials yes, are not doing what it is they're supposed to do? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch you, sir. Yes. I said it concerns the Control General of Prison. The newly appointed Control General of Prison yesterday said that, that, that this situation is unacceptable and that this kind of thing cannot continue and that any any staff that is involved shall be dealt with effort well uh, it was it doesn't seem that we're making much headway in this conversation because what we're trying to do is ask whether or not you've been able to get uh what exactly could have been happening in you know in in the prisons so much so that it's beginning to necessitate jail breaks whether from what you've found so far uh, prison officials have been found culpable in this or whether or not this is just a new wave you're seeing on 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 prisons and you're wondering what is happening you know with the, with the links on the outside and then what exactly is happening with the use of phones because in in uh, in lagos the f phones were involved. We remember that we even saw generators at the prison. And uh, in Ekiti as well, we did hear the governor say that criminals have been allowed to use phones within the prisons. We don't know what new rules you've put in place since what happened in Lagos happened. Have there been any changes whatsoever apart from the change at the helm that was caused only recently? If you will recall about two weeks ago, We're listening to you. Yeah, if you recall, two weeks ago, the minister, the Honorable Minister of the Interior, directed the then controller general to recover all the phones in the prison. And since then, we have recovered a lot of phones. It's the recovery of phones, which we call trafficking, is ongoing and with is everyday affair. And uh, we have recovered a lot of phones after that. Allow me, allow me come in here quickly. When we say something is ongoing, what's uh, the racket about? That you really can't, you know, frisk a prisoner 
to know whether he or she has a phone and was still in a recovery process. How does it operate? Is there a way they can hide the phone away from you without you knowing that they have a phone with them? Yes, there are a lot of ways they do that. And, um, you know, we have a phone that is, looks like a viral now. Even, even through the mouth, through the, through the clergy, through the visitors, phones are brought into the prison. And every day, it is every day I feel that we stop phones being brought into the prison. I think I've had the privilege of uh, visiting correctional uh, facilities in other parts of the world, and I know what you go through, uh, even uh, some excursion paid to some prisons, uh, what you go through uh, as a visitor. You are not allowed to go in with so many items. So how did these things find their way into our prisons? Uh, we have had stories of collusion among the prison wardens. Uh, have you heard that? Yes, we have heard that, and those who have found this one thing have been dealt with. Well, when we say oh, dealt I'm with, it, it will sound I'm vague. Sorry. What kind of uh, uh, well, punitive measures have we meted out to these ones? For instance, uh, uh, the President uh, actually sacked the uh, Comptroller General of Prisons on Friday with a new one coming in. Some would say, well, that's the way to go. What about those uh, who are officers and men that have been found wanting? What exactly uh, did you or did the prison service do to them? Those who are found wanting have been dismissed from the service. Some of them are currently on suspension. We have had calls to have taken them, to have taken our staff to NTLA for prosecution even to ESCC for prosecution.